Hello and welcome to the 7 o'clock news in Bahrain International with me, Keith Johnston. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa al-Khalifa sent a cable of congratulations to the Egyptian President Abdel Fattah al-Sisi on the occasion of winning the new presidential elections for a second term. His Majesty wished the Egyptian President success in leading Egypt towards further progress and prosperity. His Majesty underscored the deep-rooted historic bilateral relations and the mutual keenness in developing these relations and joint cooperation to achieve the interests of the two brotherly countries. His Majesty wished President Assisi abundant health and happiness and the people of Egypt further development and progress. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received a cable of congratulations from His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, on the discovery of large quantities of new tight oil and deep gas resources. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister hailed the new discovery which, His Royal Highness said, would boost the march of development and prosperity led by His Majesty the King and have a positive impact on the quality of services, which ensures citizens the decent living standards they aspire to. His Royal Highness hailed the energy discovery, which he described as a defining moment for the government to fast-track development and step up the march of modernisation. He said that the government had been directed to cooperate with the leading world companies to step up efforts and optimise the benefit from the new discovery. He commended the efforts of the High Committee for Natural Resources and Economic Security, chaired by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa. His Majesty the King sent a reply cable to His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, in which he commended his dedicated efforts and keen follow-up on all projects, healing the government's achievements. His Majesty stressed the crucial importance of the new oil and gas discovery for Bahrain's development and the people's welfare. His Majesty the King said the new discovery is the fruit of sustained work and national endeavour, emanating from commitment to high national interest, stressing keenness on pursuing comprehensive development and meeting citizens' needs in all fields. His Majesty commended the strenuous efforts of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, which yielded this landmark national achievement, whose windfall will benefit all Bahrain and its people. His Majesty the King reiterated greetings to His Royal Highness the Premier, praying to Allah the Almighty to bless him with abundant health and well-being. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa sent a cable of congratulations to UAE Vice President and Prime Minister and the ruler of Dubai, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum, marking the victory of the horse Thundersnow of UAE Godolphin on the 23rd Dubai World Horse Cup. The event is considered an important one on the international level as the world's finest riders participate in the Cup, which was held at the racing field in the Nadal Sheba area of Dubai yesterday. His Majesty the King expressed his sincere congratulations on the occasion, asserting that this great achievement, which will remain immortal in equestrian history, would not have been achieved without the work, effort and proper planning of all stages of the race. His Majesty also noted that the UAE and His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid have a long history in this field. His Majesty the King wished His Highness and the people of UAE for their progress and prosperity. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, sent a cable of congratulations to the Egyptian President, Abdel Fattah Al Sisi, on the occasion of winning the new presidential elections for a second term. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister wished the Egyptian President further success in leading Egypt towards further progress and prosperity. His Royal Highness praised the depth of the historic relations between the two countries and expressed keenness to further advance these relations. The Prime Minister wished President al-Sisi abundant health and happiness and the people of Egypt further development and progress. His Royal Highness Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman al-Khalifa, received a cable of congratulations from His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Premier, Prince Salman bin Hamad al-Khalifa, on the occasion of discovering the biggest oil field ever in the history of Bahrain. His Royal Highness extended sincere congratulations on the discovery of the largest oil field in the history of the Kingdom of Bahrain during the reign of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa al-Khalifa to be an extension of the comprehensive development process under His Majesty's leadership. His Royal Highness prayed to Allah the Almighty to help Bahrain towards a bright and prosperous future. His Royal Highness also to Allah the Almighty to bless him with abundant health and well-being to continue good deeds under the Blessed March, led by His Majesty the King. In reply, His Royal Highness the Prime Minister thanked His Royal Highness the Crown Prince on his good feelings, healing Bahrain's landmark development strides, which, he said, represent the fruit of dedicated efforts, paying tribute to the loyal citizens for standing united with the leadership. 
He said that the landmark achievement would contribute to achieving further progress and prosperity, stressing the cooperation of government departments with leading international companies and the strenuous efforts of the High Committee for Natural Resources and Economic Security, chaired by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, received today at Gadebia Palace His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa. During the meeting, the Royal Highnesses stressed the ongoing efforts in the prosperous era of His Majesty, King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, to achieve citizens' aspirations and boost their welfare by optimising services in all areas, including housing, health, social and economic fields. They called to exert more effort for the sake of the nation and its prosperity. The Royal Highnesses affirmed that the government's pride in the heritage of all Bahraini areas, noting the importance of adopting initiatives that establish national identity in various regions of the kingdom. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, chaired today the Cabinet meeting at Gadebia Palace in the presence of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Premier, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa. The Cabinet congratulated His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa on the Kingdom's largest oil and gas discovery, which will contribute to national economic security and support the Government's efforts of developing citizens' living standards. The Cabinet hailed the efforts of the Higher Committee for Natural Resources and Economic Security, headed by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, to make this remarkable national achievement, which came in the implementation of the Royal Directives to intensify exploration and excavation efforts. The Cabinet also thanked the Minister of Oil, the oil sector affiliates and national oil companies for their efforts. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister directed to continue exploration and excavation operations and to speed up the technical studies and the economic feasibility of recoverable quantities to commence production and open the area for investment. The Minister of Oil delivered a presentation on exploration projects in oil reservoirs and deep gas areas. The Council affirmed the importance of Bahrain Animal Production Show, Marai, held under the patronage of His Majesty the King in supporting the government's efforts to achieve sustainable agricultural development and the desired food safety, 
commending Mariah's organisation and the large participation it witnessed. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister directed it to hold more cultural events and activities that reflect the cultural, literature and scientific reality in the Kingdom. The Cabinet praised Bahrain International Book Fair and the opportunity it represents to reinforce cultural ties between countries. The Cabinet welcomed holding Bahrain Grand Prix and its participants, stating that Formula One races represent one of the largest sports events that receive world attention. The Prime Minister instructed to study the planning and the organisation of real estate buying and selling in some cities and villages to preserve their national identity. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister directed to adopt initiatives that create sustainability in providing jobs and ensure the creation of new jobs through partnership with the private sector. The Cabinet expressed pleasure in the private sector's ability to attract more national workforce and create more jobs due to the significant positive growth in the non-oil sector. In support of the Bahraini Emirate relations, the Cabinet approved eight agreements, memorandums of understanding and executive programmes in the fields of international road transport for passengers and goods, education and higher education, cultural cooperation, academic cooperation in diplomacy, social insurance and consumer protection. In accordance with the government's approach to reduce government agencies and rearrange their organisational structures to ensure the integration of small and similar administrations, the Cabinet approved to cancel the Directorate of Property and Parks in the municipality of the capital and decision 17 of 2006. The Cabinet were briefed on the activities and accomplishment of the Tenders and Auctions Council in 2017 by the Housing Minister. The Cabinet discussed three proposals submitted by the Council of Representatives regarding curriculums in kindergarten, social support centres, medical consultation for the elderly and retirees in the private medical sector. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, received a sample of the largest oil fields first production at Gadebia Palace on the sidelines of the Cabinet meeting in the presence of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Premier, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa. His Royal Highness noted the importance of the discovery in achieving the development that guarantees its continuity and ensures that the citizens receive the service and living situation that achieves their ambitions healing the efforts of the High Committee for Natural Resources and Economic Security in bringing about this major discovery, which is the result of the Royal Directives. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, conducted an impromptu visit to Al Sahia village, where he met with a number of citizens who gathered to meet His Royal Highness, which reflects their appreciation for his visit and his directives to meet the area's housing and services needs. The visit stems from His Royal Highness's keenness of following up on all needs of Al Sahia village. During the visit, the Prime Minister noted the importance of meeting the citizens' needs and that the citizens are at the heart of the government's development agenda, highlighting the comprehensive development plan of the government that aims to develop the services in all the Kingdom's areas. The Premier exchanged visits with the people and listened to their needs and requests. The people of Al Sahia expressed thanks and appreciation to His Royal Highness for his keenness on meeting them and their needs and his directives and ministers concerned to conduct field visits to the village. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa sent a cable of congratulations to the Egyptian President Abdel Fattah Al Sisi on the occasion of winning the new presidential elections for a second term. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince wished the Egyptian President further success in leading Egypt towards further progress and prosperity. His Royal Highness praised the depth of the bilateral relations in all fields and wished President al-Sisi abundant health and happiness and the people of Egypt for their development and progress. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Premier Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa sent a cable of congratulations to UAE Vice President, Prime Minister and Dubai Ruler, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum, after Godolphin's Thundersnow won the 23rd Dubai World Cup at the Maidan Racecourse in Nad al Sheba. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince hailed the impressive achievement, which he said reflects the role of the United Arab Emirates in supporting equestrian races. He wished His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum abundant health and happiness and the UAE for their progress and prosperity. 
the representative of His Majesty the King for Charity Work and Youth Affairs, Chairman of the Supreme Council of Youth and Sports and President of Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, congratulated His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa on the discovery of the biggest ever oil field in the history of Bahrain. His Highness Sheikh Nasser praised the efforts exerted by the Supreme Committee for Natural Resources and Economic Security headed by His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, in giving high priority to oil exploration operations. His Highness stressed that the landmark oil and gas finds herald a new chapter in the prosperous era of His Majesty the King, reminiscent of the historic discovery of the first oil well in Bahrain, in the era of the late Emir of Bahrain, His Highness Sheikh Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa. He added that the landmark oil and gas discovery will be an important extension of the development of Bahrain, noting that this achievement is an extension of the march led by His Majesty the King for Bahrain's development. Executive Director of Tamkin, Dr Ibrahim Jahani, met with members of the third batch of the first Deputy Premier National Development Programme as part of the meetings organised by the Office of the First Deputy Prime Minister. Dr Ibrahim Janahi stated that the programme of the First Deputy for the Development of National Cadres represents a unique model in the preparation and development of young leaders and established in accordance with best practices and training. He added that this programme reflected the vision of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, in stressing the importance of investing in the human element. During the meeting, Tamkeen presented an overview of the programme's objectives, as well as the achievements made since launching the Tamkeen Fund in 2006, and the various programmes offered to develop the private sector and enhance its position as a main drive of economic growth in the Kingdom. Good evening and welcome to the Business News on Bahrain International. My name is Bara Abdullah. Bahrain All Share Index closed at 1,294.64 points, marking a decrease of 8.50 points below the previous closing. This decrease was due to the fall in the commercial bank sector, investment sector and services sector. With 60% of total shares, 49 transactions included 1,900,000. 73,820 shares worth 342,138 Bahraini dinars. Investcorp announced its acquisition of the stake in ICR, the leading strategic communications and consulting firm. With this investment in ICR, whose senior management team will retain its ownership. Investcorp aims to accelerate the company's self-growth, expand its reach and presence globally, as well as monitor acquisitions opportunities that complemented and supports the move. Established in 1998, ICR provides services that help companies establish their credibility and manage reputational risk to enhance the value of their shareholders' investments. ICR specializes in investor relations, public relations, crisis communications, special situations, digital and social media, and capital consulting. Bahrain Stock Exchange Chairman Abdul Karim Bouchiri confirmed the support of ASE to develop the financial technology environment in the Kingdom of Bahrain by exploring the latest encouraging financial technologies. The growth of local and regional capital markets encourage innovations in this area. Bouchiri explained that the Bahrain Stock Exchange will provide startups and entrepreneurial ventures in the field of financial technology with a unique trading platform in the capital markets and in the newly launched Bahrain investment market. Bouchiri said the exchange will work with Bahrain Bay platform for financial technology to create opportunities to create ideal conditions to attract both local and regional innovations, institutions and emerging financial technology companies.